Hey guys, this is William. In today's video, we're going to be doing a local SEO audit. That's right, a local SEO audit for a hardware company. Bam! If you're new to this channel, you're not going to want to miss it. We drop lots of golden nuggets, so make sure to hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification. Also, if you're new, don't want to miss this, so stay to the end and I give away a free local SEO OXOP. That way you can start doing local SEO for yourself. It's my Google My Business Toolkit. <laughs> yeah, boy. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this guy right here, it's a hardware company. See that already. It's more of an e-commerce site. I usually don't do a whole lot of website or SEO for e-commerce. It's just not my thing, if you will. Um, but nevertheless, if we look at it, it's a decent website. Same principles really apply. Um, this right here saying get inspired tells me nothing. I want an H1 that actually tells me what do you do? What are you selling? Get inspired doesn't tell me nothing. So if it's a hardware for doors or cabinets, I want to know, use that keyword. Um, you want your header up here to follow you as you go. I want a bold CTA up here. It's kind of the same thing with local SEO. You know, your categories down here, all of these H2s are hyperlinked. They should be hyperlinked to pages. The page structure should be correct. They are, it's locks and security, which is great. So overall, I mean, it's a typical e-commerce website. Looks good. Nice. You have your trust pilot reviews. I would want to see your Google My Business if you have a Google My Business location embedded on here on the home page as well. That being said, since this is an e-commerce website, let's go ahead and look at your actual audit. Your page speed sucks. You need to get that fixed. So. You need to get those taken care of. We can generally get this into the 90s, get this green. This is on your desktop, on your mobile, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's even worse. So mobile is worse. Oh my God! So we need to get a lot of work with this. This would probably take us a long time, at least about a week to get this correct. So I'll send these reports over to you. Then on top of it, you got 32,000. SEO errors that we need to get fixed, 15 errors, 5,000 warnings, 27,000 info issues. <coughs> so the info issues usually have a lot to do with rel canicles that need to be fixed, your dynamic URLs, right? Your pages with excessive links, your alt tags, alt titles, broken links, all that. I'm going to send this report over to you because we need to get a lot of that taken care of, right? Um, I don't know if you're mainly into local SEO or not. If you are, please let me know. From our last talk, you were mainly into e-commerce. I don't do e-commerce SEO, but I could point you in the right direction um, as far as how to get started and who to go with. If you are specifically looking to do it in the UK or London, I do it based upon population. If you get on my website at rankfortress.com, in your case, it's if it's an entire area, it's probably going to be around $7.97. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you got some information. If you'd like for me to local SEO audit or an audit on your website because you do local SEO and you're watching this video, make sure to comment below and I'll reach out to you. And what we'll do is we'll reach out to you and get your information and then do a local SEO audit for you. Please make sure to watch the next upcoming video where I go over some more local SEO audit hacks and tips. Until next time, you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Be blessed. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top, most wanted, most